Hello, how you doing? Uh, my name is uh, Jermaine Morgan. I'm 20 years old. I was originally born in uh, Jamaica, West Indies Island. Um, I'm bodybuilding. The way I got started into bodybuilding was uh, by Robert Fulton, but um, originally when I was around six or seven, I just felt like, you know, I felt the connection. Um, I was just picked up a muscle and fitness magazine or, you know, a regular bodybuilding magazine. I just felt that, you know, I belong here and, you know, this was a place for me. You know, you know, a lot of people go throughout their lives, you know, around wondering where they belong and I definitely think I found a place that's for me. Well, I don't say think, I know this is the place for me. Um and uh yeah, like, you know, every time I go in the G and C store um, I could just, you know, I just love reading up on supplements and find out on supplements and how they work and, you know, so it's pretty fun and, you know, love reading nutrition, you know, protein, carbs, sodium, um, it just, I felt the connection and I just love, you know, going to different gyms, training different gyms and see what type of equipment they have. Love training all uh, different types of muscles, my deltoids, my trap, my rhombozoids, my lats, my arms, my legs. Um, so it felt it felt very fun to me. So I mean a lot of people, you know, wonder why I do this and the reason behind it, just it's you not know, like this type of feeling that you can't explain, but you just know it's there and you just know it's for you and you know, you don't have to force yourself to do it every day. You just you know, you just up in the morning and you just, you know, train. I'm saying on the off season, I was 2.30 and I used to train five in the morning. And um, I never had somebody there just to be like, hey, you know, you gotta train, you gotta do this, you gotta eat that, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta take your multiple vitamins. Nah, I just, you know, did it out there on my own. You know what I'm saying? I never had anybody on my back telling me, oh, you gotta do this, gotta do that. I always, you know, do it for myself, you know what I'm saying? So it just felt like something free for me. Um, <clears throat> The, the first guy that I ever looked up to as a bodybuilder was uh, Arnold, because um, not only have he, um, you know, did bodybuilding, but I think he opened up a lot of doors for, you know, bodybuilding competitors. And um, as you could see, he's not only as a, just a muscle head, but he's a very intelligent type of guy. Um, you know, he really, you know, sat down and explained to a lot of people what it's really about, not just, you know, just lifting weights and um, being big is, you know, a lot of dedication behind it, a lot of hard work, a lot of consistency. You know, you got to come back looking bigger and better every year. And, you know, and, you know, it's fun. You know what I'm saying? It's fun for me. I mean, it might not be for everybody, but, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it should be, you know, taught that, you know, the reason why we do this, a lot of people don't know why. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's a fun experience. Um, you know, just transforming your body. You know, you could see your body if you're coming down from, you know, a heavy weight, you know, just transforming your body and, you know, seeing how your body reacts to certain things and, like, you know, so it's fun. Um, actually, I actually went to school, a technical school, for, uh, took a plumbing and heat, and I guess it didn't work out pretty well. But I think that it was actually a sign for me to show that, you know, I, I don't belong here. So, um, so I ended up me meeting Robert Fulton in, um, 05. Um, he was the guy that really, you know, sat me down and showed me what was, uh, personal training was all about and how it reacts to, you know, bodybuilding, how I could do both. I could be successful in both bodybuilding and, uh, personal training and showing that, um, you know, you can make a lot of money in both fields. Um, he was the guy that told me, you know, how to train somebody, you know, the difference between, you know, training somebody, no, the difference between helping somebody and not trying to harm somebody. Um, and, you know, the ins and outs of bodybuilding, you know, he's really like a, a tough learner, but he's really, you know, he makes you go out there and find out on your own if this is really for you. I mean, he's not on your back, you know, or you got to stay on your diet, you got to train. He's the type of tough guy, like, yo, man, either you're going to do it, or you will not, you know what I'm saying? So, pretty fun. Um, so, my first show was uh, Mike Cat show. Um, I was really nervous for that show, man. I was, 
terrified. I took first in the teens, you know, and I went out there and I did it, man. I, it felt so good. It felt like a drum no rush for me. It felt like, you know, a place that I belong. After that, after that show, um, I just stayed right on my diet, man. Just stayed and did it. Boom, right there. I mean, it wasn't like a full, you know, planned out diet, but it was like more so like a, you know, oatmeal and egg whites in the morning and, you know, chicken and salad for the rest of the day. And that was like a senior year in high school. And everybody's like, keep asking me, damn, bro, eating so much greens, like eating so much chicken. It's just like, and then every time they ask me that, I'm just like, you know what, I don't know, but it just, <laughs> it just feel right. It just feels right to me. And then um, after that, after that, the Mike Cat show, I did an OCB show. I took first in the teens, took second in the novice, and then, you know, I took fifth in the middleweight. And after that, the week after that show, um, I did a Muscle Mania show. And um, Muscle Mania show was a pretty good experience to be, man. It was like, you know, it brought a lot of um, competition, not just only you know, in my age, but you know, in the open, and I kind of like competition. It gives me more of like a rush to work harder and diet harder, and more of a motivation for me. So I kind of like the competition, and I took uh, first in the juniors and third in the middleweight, and then you know it was a pretty good thing. It was especially at home for me in Connecticut because it's a home court advantage. And then after that, I did um, I did a uh, Nancy Andrews show. I took uh, first in the teens again. I took like third in light heavy. So that was like a pretty good show too. But um, throughout the year I did other shows and then just keep coming back harder and stronger. Then the previous year after that, um, I did um, I did a Muscle Mania show. And then a lot of people said, oh, you improved, you improved a lot. So I was like, you know, I did a lot of hard work between this. Did a lot of motivation, a lot of kept coming back harder. So. Um, that Muscle Mania show, and that was a pretty good show again. You know, a lot of people come out to that show, you know, on court advantage. Pretty good, good show to be in. And then um, I did a Nancy Andrews show, and that's when I turned pro in IMBF. You know, it was a pretty, you know, good feeling, you know, turning pro in IMBF. And after that, I just jumped right back in there, just training harder and harder. And then in the summertime, you know, Brian called me up and let me know, you know, there's a position open for a movie, you know, a Martin Lawrence movie in Connecticut called um, College Road Trip with Raymond Simone in there. And, uh, you know, I met Martin Lawrence, I met Raymond Simone, and um, I was there for like three days. I couldn't actually stay the whole week, but I was there for three days and I made, you know, 700 bucks. And, you know, the easiest 700 bucks I made, you know, it's a pretty good thing. I knew Brian from, you know, Muscle Mania because I probably wouldn't have got the spot. But um, had a good time, good experience, you know. I guess, you know, doing that show opened up a lot of doors for me, so I appreciate it. And then, um, you know, acting is pretty cool. Acting is pretty good, and I mean, it's, you know, another role to take. You know, I'm not saying I'm not going to be, you know, another orange, I'm not like that, but <laughs> a lot of my energy is more and so into the bodybuilding. That's why, you know, that's why, I, you know, I wake up and go to the gym for it. That's like... The only thing I really think about nonstop every day is just working out, switching up my program, eating up, eating right. So, but you know, it did open up a lot of doors for me. And right now, um, <clears throat> this morning I woke up, I uh, weighed myself. I was about one ninety seven. I'm on the off season. I was about two thirty. Um, like I said before, in the off season, I woke up about five in the morning. I did. Legs on Monday, did arms on Tuesday, I did uh, chest on Wednesday, and I did arms again on Thursday, and I do back on Friday, and then I do shoulders on Saturday, and I just continue that routine, continue that routine, and uh, it helped me. Got up to 230, and I think I put about anywhere between 5 to 10 pounds of muscle, so... You know, it takes a lot of hard work putting on muscle. That's like, you know, one of the hardest things to, you know, develop in your body. So, you know, it was a fun and main focus right now is, you know, doing the Fitness Atlantic, giving it all I got and, you know, coming in right. And if I don't come in, if I don't come in right, I'm not going to show up at all. So, you know, it's about it. And that's me. So thank you for joining me.
name is Jermaine Morgan again. Um, from Fultman Fitness, and uh, thank you. Hope you be seeing me soon, April 26th. Thanks.